I've got no internet and I'm waiting for the guy from the internet to come here and replace my power supply for the uh, fiber optic that supplies the uh, internet. But I figured I'd go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to uh, do the fur on the uh, saddle, but I'm going to do it in clay. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint the saddle to match the clay that I'm working with. And, uh, The uh, repairman is getting equipment for the uh, device he has to replace. And so he'll be coming in in a few minutes and he might make some noise and talk to me and I'll have to talk to him back. And So don't uh, let that bother you. <laughs> okay. I do this uh, primarily just to uh, match the uh, color of the clay, so there's no question as to uh, what that material is. If I go to a gallery and I show it in the gallery, it's uh, pretty plain that uh, it's clay, but it's a different kind of clay and I don't want to have to sit there and explain it. So I take this step to read no questions I'm going to put a uh, saddle blanket on his uh, saddle and uh, that'll work out nicely too I'm going to make the fur blanket uh, out of clay. No need to do that in uh, monster clay. All right, I'm just uh, finishing up his uh, saddle blanket, which is going to be a bear skin or buffalo skin blanket. That's why it's so thick. And uh, just making the ends of the uh, skin. I'm going to come back uh, down and work on this later on this afternoon. I wanted to be down here while he worked on my internet. He's done with it, and I've got uh, better internet now than I had before. I mean, it was ripping before. But now it's going to really be ripping. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back in you know, about another couple hours. I'm going to take a break. And let this uh, paint dry completely. All right. Okay, it's a few hours later. The uh, paint's dried, so now I'm putting the fur with the regular clay on the uh, saddle. I'm just using a uh, piece of metal rod here to give it texture.
I don't want to make it too deep because it has to be cast and then it has to be cleaned and bronze. I'm going to have this hand holding the narrow part of the uh, part of the uh, rifle. I'm still going to have it in the sheath. I was going to have the gun exposed, but that's way too much detail, and it costs way too much to cast that kind of detail, and it doesn't always come out right. So I'm going to stick with my original design. Okay. And I'm going to have this hand on top of the uh, horn of the saddle. Okay, I'm going to take that out. That's just a... Was the... Navigate my arm there. Now that's the head measurement right there. Now I'll take this off the uh, armature and uh, at some point and just uh, do the face. But right now I'm just going to sketch in the body, at least block it in as much as I can and uh, take it from there. I haven't decided what kind of clothing to put on them yet. Yeah, I want him to look that way. I'm going to have to just move the arms out of the way while I work on it. Yeah, I like the stance of it.
Well, I think that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you guys next week. I'm liking it. I think it's going to be a dynamite piece if I don't screw it up. And I can still do that. <laughs> Believe me, I've been known to. Like he's getting ready to maybe pull the rifle out of the uh, deer skin uh, scabbard. Now the wind's going to be blowing from behind, so I've got to reflect that too as far as any clothing he has on and stuff like that. All right, everybody. See you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.